Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have a fitness workout. Okay, eight exercises, okay, three rounds, 30 seconds work, 15 seconds break, two minutes break in between in between each single round. Okay, so uh, what do we need? If you have uh, a classic chair or a bench, okay, we have uh, some exercises or several exercises that we are going to do on uh, on the chair okay or using the chair basically so let me start with the explanation of the workout exercise number one upper body push up three positions okay so now I show you uh, on the ground then I will do the same using the chair here it depends on your strength Okay, so you can decide if it's, um, uh, if it's possible for you to use the chair or you want to do it on the ground. Okay, first position, okay, my hands are very close to each other, okay, even if you are, if you are not touching each other, it's, also, it's anyway fine, but let's say 10 centimeters uh, between the hands, okay, regular push-up position, okay, with, with my body, okay, only with the hands close to each other, if you can, a little bit closer, okay, from here, I'm gonna keep my elbows closed, and I do one push-up, then I'm gonna open, okay, and I do a classic push-up, then I'm gonna open again, okay, now I have a wide position, I'm gonna do a push-up, and then I go back, okay, so one, two, three, okay? These are the three positions, okay? If you can, okay, if you are strong enough, you can do it on the chair, okay? So nothing change, the uh, feet on the chair, hands close, and I'm gonna start with the first, with the second, with the last. Okay, where should we stop? When my nose is close to the ground, okay, that's the limit. Okay, if you cannot go deep, okay, it makes no sense to use the chair. Do, a, do it on the ground, okay, and then maybe, especially if you are in the wide position, okay, you go down and you have to stop, otherwise, you cannot come back, okay, but the idea is always in any position down until my nose is closed or is touching the ground and then back okay second exercise okay we use we use the chair for for you doing lunges okay foot on top of the chair or the bench okay create your stability find your stability point okay we work one leg one round, one leg, one round, it's up to you, you see uh, the position of the foot, some prefer to keep the foot uh, straight, some prefer to have the toes touching uh, the bench, anyway from here go as deep as possible and back, okay, in this case I prefer to use uh, the, having the toes that are touching the chair, round number two and round number three. I need to find my stability point when I'm straight again okay I'm gonna do my repetitions okay exercise number four basically the starting position is like the push-up okay with the feet on the bench but what we are doing is a sort of uh, reverse crunch okay it's uh, in this case what I'm doing I set up my position okay I'm moving in the way that I find comfortable, okay, so I'm basically in the push-up position. From here, I'm gonna push, okay, and try to lift the hip higher, okay, up, and go back, okay, up. In this case, of course, I cannot move my legs, but I'm gonna push with my arms, and the idea is to bring your hip as high as possible, pushing with your feet, and then back, up and down, okay? Uh, next exercise 
is a push up step. Okay, I show you. Now, the exercise we have to perform on the opposite way. Okay, so that means that I show you from this side. Okay. So basically my starting position will be a push up in front of the chair. Okay, so I'm basically here. Okay. What I'm doing from here, going up and back down. Next exercise, push with the straight arms. Okay, here we need a lot of power in our core to avoid to do this movement. Okay, I need always to keep my back straight. I can always switch the arm. Okay, the arm is pushing all the time. Okay, when I'm one, one here, one, one on the on on the chair, I need to push. Okay. Then we have number six. Let me find the right position of the chair. Number six, we have the side lunges. Okay, we do it in a very low position. Okay, so basically like a like a uh, like a stretching position. Okay, uh, trying to stay as low as possible. Okay, 30 seconds without lifting the head or moving, changing my level. Okay. I try to stay as low as possible, okay, performing my uh, lunges. Then we have dips, okay, working on the tricep. We did already, okay, so I placed on the side, okay, in the way that I feel comfortable, okay, my legs are here, my back is very close to the chair. I always try to reach the 90 degrees, okay. And go up. If it's too heavy, you can close the legs, okay, and do it in this way. This is easier, okay. This way with the feet up, uh, with the feet uh, 90 degrees, the toes up, okay. I, I have more weight into the arms, okay. Then we have the final exercise. Uh, this exercise is a transition, okay, squat to knee. So that means that I'm gonna start from the squat position. Okay, from here, go down on the knees and back. Okay, one, two, back, one, two. Okay, without lifting it again, I don't change my level. I can switch the leg left and right, right and left as I like. Okay, for 30 seconds. Okay, and then we finish the first round. Then we have two minutes break. And then we have the second and then the last round. Okay, very long explanation, eight minutes, sorry guys. Okay, I'm gonna start the stop the video, run the timer, okay, the video will start. Uh, you set up your area, your training area, then you can start again, I think around 30 seconds before we start with the first round. Here we are, uh, 25 seconds now. Okay, so remember, push up three positions, okay. Split jump or single leg lunge using the chair. Okay, right and left, then we have a sort of a reverse crunch. Then we have a push-ups, push-up step, side lunges, dips, and the last exercise. Get ready. And we go. not easy but it's a good effective exercise especially the close one if you close the elbows and you try to work to work with your tricep is very hard ready and we go here we try to have no break okay so I'm going down up down up slow down a bit faster up okay so try to have no break in between. The first leg, it's easier because the legs are 
fresh, okay, but already in the second time. The next one you will feel more because of course one leg was working already in the previous exercise. You have to find your position and go. The way that you keep your arms doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Okay, the important thing that you feel stable could be on the hip, in front, open in this way. Okay, that's absolutely fine. The important thing you control your knee position. Okay, and also the other side. Okay, this leg that is moving in one line. Time. Now we switch. We have a sort of reverse crunch. Okay, without push up. Okay, here we are going to work only with the upper body. And go. Always push actively with your legs. My head always straight. Okay, try to avoid to look your feet in the push-up position. Time. Now, I switch. I put this in front. Okay, I always want to see the camera. Okay, now step up. And go. One, two, go up and down. Up, try to keep the straight arms. Okay. Always try to switch. One exercise plus the other, you have very good full core and for the upper body. Time. Now we have the lunges. Okay, I'm gonna stay low as low as possible. And go. Yeah. Dynamically moving from one side to the other. Okay, of course you have to keep your back straight. Okay. Avoid to lean forward. Avoid to lower your knees. Moving forward. Okay, always nice and controlled movement. Good exercise for mobility. Time. Now we have the dips. Okay, so we work on the triceps. And remember that if you have problems with the straight legs, you can always switch and do it in this way. You have less weight there. Ten seconds. Time. Now we have the last exercise. Squat. Okay, to knees and back. Okay, you can decide how you want to switch. I'm gonna start with squat and go. Again, don't switch the level. You can do two times right, two times left, that's up to you. Okay, I can always switch random. Okay, two, three, then switch again. Of course, these exercises, if you have a small kettlebell, you can use it. Okay, I'm gonna show you time. Body weight. Okay, because it's something that everyone can do at home. Okay. Now we have a two minutes break. Okay, so take your time. I'm gonna stop the video and again start 25, 30 seconds before we start with the next round. Okay, so you have time. You can drink some water.
okay take your time and then we go for the second one I'm back hope you're ready remember when we do the first exercise the push-ups okay sometimes it's normal to try to open a little bit the elbows okay to help a little bit the exercise don't do it always try to keep the elbows close in the first and a natural elbow around 45 degrees in the other positions okay get ready five seconds now okay and time always slow and control okay you don't have to go fast the form it's more important than the speed the arms or the hands always close in front of your chest and not over your shoulder level always try to reach the nose with the nose to the ground and then back time you can hold the second okay and then come back it's also good I'm going down as my nose is close to the ground or touching the ground now I'm switching the legs start with the other side and we go as I told you in the first round try to avoid and you stop, slow down and up, down, up, down, up, 15 seconds, keep a parallel legs, okay, be aware of your knee position, okay, and your upper body, always try to feel that you are not losing the position, okay, that's definitely important. Now I'm going to switch a little bit because of the mat, There's, I'm in the corner and it's very annoying. And we go, here I feel way better. There's the, uh, there's a angle, a corners of the mat and I feel that my foot is going inside so I feel not that stable. Okay, that's why I switched the position. someone this exercise will be super hard for others very light as I said if it's too easy you can always do it with an extra weight if you don't have weight at home you can take a bottles a package of water okay and you can hold it and do it with an extra weight. We have dips. <coughs> Go! Always 
back straight, close to the chair. Try to always to reach the 90 degrees. Keep parallel elbows, so don't open the elbows. Naturally, your hip is moving down and push up with the arms, always closing the elbows. Okay, this way we maximize this time the work of our elbows. And now the last exercise, knees to squat. Ready? And go. Now I'm gonna do 15 seconds and then I'm gonna switch the leg. Okay, so if you can want, if you want to follow me, you can do it. And switch. And now we will do 15 seconds on the other side. Always try to keep your core nice and tight. And also the second round is over. Whoa, what happened to the light? Second round is done. Again, 145. Okay, take your time. Okay, and then we start the last round. We are back. 25 seconds, and then we have the last round. Like always, the last round, but if you want to do one more, okay, it's up to you. I would say three rounds, they are for me perfect, but of course, if you are super fit, you want to do one more, you just take another, another break, and then you can follow another, another time in our workout. Ready? And we go. Always try to, to feel the foot in the right position. Okay, I have my front foot that sometimes is shaking a little bit. Time. So it's important that immediately I feel it. I need to activate my core. Ready? And we go. Always slow. Wow. One, two, up. One, two, up. That's the speed that you have to follow. Okay, so not quickly. One, two, up. One, two. As you feel you lose balance, recover first and then start again. Okay? Time. Ten seconds. Sharp position. There we go. Push up with your legs as well. Eh? Switch 
This time I do it this way. Go! Always control. finish the repetitions ready and we go always feel the elbows are close when you push Ten seconds. Try to lock the elbow with a straight arm. Time. Very good. Good for good tricep. We don't use really often. Okay. And now we have the last. Ready? There we go. Again, we do fifteen seconds. If you want to follow me. as you prefer guys and time Woo. just breathe a little bit so how it was the workout guys uh, leave a comment below yeah if you uh, enjoy the training or like always if you need you can write me or you can add a comment and every time I come for the new video I always try to answer the questions or the feedback when you leave a comment so as I told you before if you are super fit, say Angelo, I feel that I can do it again. I have a good control, good posture, I'm not tired, I can do it again. Do one more round, guys, okay? I always try to keep three rounds, a simple form for everyone, okay? And I give you some easy and intermediate level exercises, okay? Like body weight, um, only body weight with the chair and this way the law is changing a lot okay that's up to you which one you want okay if you want to do one more round just go back to a previous round and do it with me or use your own timer okay so thank you very much I wish you a great week okay today it's Monday uh, the weather is beautiful uh, if you are out for a run is also a good idea see you on Wednesday for the next video Take care and stay safe. Ciao!